Fisherman's Wharf has been a magical place for Tammy Yi since she was a child. Fond family memories and fresh crab are what brings her back to a San Francisco mainstay of more than 60 years. Located at Pier 43 and a half, it's Franciscan Crab Restaurant. I love walking into the restaurant and seeing the amazing view. Every day it's something different. Uh, you never know if the fog is going to show up or not. I am Stephanie FCN, and I'm the general manager of the Franciscan Crab Restaurant. We have three tiers in our restaurant. There is not really a bad seat in our house at all. No matter where you sit, there's an angle of San Francisco that you'll see. My name is Juan Carlos Becerra. I'm the executive chef here at Franciscan Crab Restaurant in San Francisco, California. All our seafood comes from local suppliers that are in the area also here in Fisherman Wharf. Dungeness crab is the best tasting crab. It's more meat than others and it's and the meat is sweeter. We always get the largest one for our restaurants because it has the more meat. The crab is served with a special, you know, crab crackers and the little forks, you know, so you can pick the meat, but it's fun when you get your hands dirty too, you know. We have a lot of combinations and the cast iron skillets. People really enjoy it when they come to the table, they're sizzling, you know. People around the other tables are looking at it and it's like, what is that, what is that? Sometimes they just order by pointing, you know. All right, Tammy, you check out all the hottest, latest restaurants, but this is kind of an iconic, classic San Francisco spot. Well, I love this place. So um, historically, it's kind of a big deal in San Francisco. So um, was formed in 1957. I think it brings back a lot of memories. So I grew up in Fremont in the Bay Area native. So my family would take me to the wharf and we'd walk around, you know, the pier and, you know, have this delicious Dungeness crab at this restaurant. So I think they have some really solid seafood dishes. Um, a lot of versatility in the menu, so a lot of different options. Love the 50s vibe, um, but really unpretentious, and I think it's just a perfect spot to take people who aren't from um, San Francisco. The whole restaurant is made out of glass right. from yeah. the side on the side of the water, so the views are unbelievable. Right. Yeah. I mean, it really is. Yeah. It screams San Francisco, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It really is a fun ambience. They've got pictures that they've been taking for years and years and years of celebrities. Right. I mean, there's hundreds of pictures everywhere, and it's just kind of fun to wander around. I always get this, you know, sizzling platter of seafood, so a combo of mussels, crab, and shrimp. I'm a huge seafood connoisseur. I think my friends, like, know me as that crab lady. Like, I love seafood, <laughs> so I, you know, sometimes I'll go by myself, and I'll just have this, like, giant like sizzling platter of seafood served to me and then it's kind of sizzling in this like garlic buttery sauce really really good what is your favorite a uh, crab hands down okay yeah. yeah yeah it's so good for me the mussels knocked it out of the park fat juicy perfectly cooked all by themselves they were excellent I didn't want to put any of the dipping sauces in but I didn't like the roasted crab I'm you know, it was dry, really dried out. Mm -hmm. I thought that maybe it was too imbued. With, I don't ever think that you could have too much garlic, but there was something about it that didn't do it for me. Mm -hmm. The abalone was sort of a mixed bag, okay? The doré coating overpowered the beauty of the abalone, but the doré itself, that coating was very good. It was delicious. We took the doré off, and then we ate the abalone. It was perfectly cooked, tender, flavorful, but the two together didn't work for you. Didn't work for me. Okay, and what about you, Steve? I definitely crabbed out. So I started with crab cakes, <laughs> and I did crab chowder, <laughs> and I did a crab Louis salad. <laughs> so I had crab. Um, the crab trifecta. Yeah, the crab trifecta. I had very low expectations of this place. Um, now, why is that? Because it's on the wharf, and you're kind just, of thinking touristy, and it, the name sounds like a tourist trap, and um, I just didn't expect a lot. Yeah. I think that if you're going for what you typically go for, it's perfect. Right. It is touristy. It's from the photos, and they don't show them there. They're just pictures of celebrities as you walk up, and the menus are laminated like you would expect from a tourist restaurant. But the seafood is fresh. Um, the service was great. 
uh, the views are, as I said, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So the crab cakes were triple fried, so they were very crispy mm -hmm. with some chopped vegetables. Um, the chowder had a huge hunk of Dungeness crab, which was the best part of the chowder. The actual chowder itself was a potato-based chowder, very bland, with, I put a heavy douse of Tabasco on it, which made it taste better. And the crab louis salad was huge and very fresh crab, And I, but the louis dressing was reminding me of the dressing I grew up with from the grocery store with Kraft Thousand Island dressing. Thousand Island, man, yeah, come on. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. I, we had the same experience. We got the Caesar salad with crab, and the crab was lovely and fresh and tasty, and the Caesar was just as bland as bland could be. And it was just, a, it was a disappointment. You know, it's touristy, but I think it's its always been a solid choice. Everyone, mm -hmm. you know, that I've brought has been like, honestly, like, this was a good spot. Like, it, right. it did the job. Well, yeah. as you said, it's its go with expectations, right? I mean, this is, you, you're going for crab. And a beer, probably. And a beer. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. but I would definitely go back to this place. I've also had uh, the crab fondue, which is also really good as an appetizer. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really thick and rich, um, and it's super cheesy. It's got plenty of lumps of crab meat, which I love. I hate it when they skimp out on the crab meat, and they definitely don't do this here. Um, so with a couple pieces of bread, and it's you know served piping hot, really, really delicious. Yeah. I thought and I what did it. you feel about value? Because you know, crab is expensive. Seafood's expensive. Uh, it's not an inexpensive place. Mm -hmm. um, so again, I would go with the expectations that you're going to spend some money, have a good time, and uh, enjoy the view. All right, Tammy, your spot. Wrap it up for us. For solid seafood dishes, take your out-of-towner friends to Franciscan Crab. All right, and Bob? I don't think I'll be back. They have some very good dishes, a great spot for tourists. Okay, and Steve? Fun, amazing views go at sunset. If you would like to try Franciscan Crab Restaurant, it's on Fisherman's Wharf at Pier 43 and a half in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-362-7733. It's open every day for lunch and dinner, 365 days a year. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $30. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. IRG has thousands of surfaces in stock now. Surfaces. Selection. Service. IRG at MarbleCompany.com. Total Wine and More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine and More, now with eight Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. Sutter Health CPMC announcing its newly opened Mission Bernal Hospital with all private rooms and comprehensive labor and delivery services. SutterHealth.org slash Mission Bernal. Redwood Credit Union, community banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Business and personal, online and mobile, plus nationwide ATMs. Banking for people who call this place home.